Coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight to try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 162 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Coburn, Ontario, Canada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker who's taking on a true 5 2 And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off. Ooh, big shot, man. to the jab now, no good. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Oh, there we go. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All 
right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. I need you to scramble, scramble. Let's go, get him off you, get him off. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Under three minutes now to go in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh yeah, no pity pat to this guy. Ah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Two minutes to go in round one. Oh, useful strike on the ground, that was. Good, solid strike on the ground. Ninety seconds now to go in this one. Use your hands to get up. I mean, how many can he take? Let's go. Push, push, push. Get and the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Big kick lands. Trying to kick the leg out. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. DC, we'll see what he can do. Time is perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding with one last flurry. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. This round, we want to go back to the boxing game. Let's keep that going. This guy has no answer for you. Keep your hands up. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. All right, here we go with our next round and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency. On very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not do everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. And every now and again, he would set down the strike that was really damaging the opponent. Single collar tie now. Oh, nice job 
get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? with that big right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big body kick land. Oh, the difference in the striking is crazy. Powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Over and over, he's landed his big body kick. Just over three minutes now to go. Got a clip of the right hand. here in round two, much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. He loaded up there on that high kick. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Work here, staying busy. Useful strike there, the ground and pound on point tonight. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. And he defends another takedown there, so it looked like a pretty good entry, but once again, unable to get him back. Great balance, great awareness. Move the head back inside. Turn that double into a single. Crawl, he got away from his opponent. Great job. Oh, wow! Head kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. So unable to connect on the uppercut. Lee gets caught with that punch. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Unable to land with that punch. That arranged with the big right hand. Blocks the shot. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. And they separate. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round. And really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Ten minutes in the books. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Ready. 
Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing this one. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. the jab that was a nice one it's my favorite punch in all the fight good jab able to check the high kick straight right is there stuffs that takedown attempt without issue continues to walk out of that tie clinch good punch land the right hand. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, tags him again with a plus left hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Punch there, good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Miss with the elbow there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Right hand punch from the clinch. Back and forth we go. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Man, how good is his right hook count? Takedown defense holds up. Just unable to quite find that range. Good work blocking the knee. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Oh, and he lands the front kick there. Not Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belfort, but a nice strike nonetheless. There are a lot of ways to land that strike. And as you saw with Anderson, you can get up to the chin because normally it goes to the box. Nice straight one. Final seconds of round three. And he's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, 
All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. What a beautiful takedown. Oh, and he gets the single leg takedown. Nice entry on that attempt. Side control now. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Sound strike on the ground. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. I mean, how many can he take? Isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's attacking on board now. He might get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to anticipate those movements the moment he tries to move to the next position. You build a shield, get back to your feet, or dig an underhook to try to get a reversal or a sweep. And he landed the right hand there. All right, so not enough action there on the ground. The referee brings the fight back to the feet, and we are back underway. Nice kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting the combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Ooh, what a punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Ooh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. Big kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? There you go. Look for the shot. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. One minute now to go in round four of a possible five. And they separate. Nice kick. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Drive his 
chin into the body with that body kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 15 seconds remain in the round. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter. Chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work that he did in the previous round. He did a fantastic job. Of mixing up his targets, not hit her, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to change the kick there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice loop and punch. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used his punch to get to the target. Amazing that we could get to this point of the fight and he would not show even a modicum of a sign of fatigue. Well, he's doing a very good job of managing his cardio. He doesn't throw everything 100% power throws things to set up. He doesn't just have to go and go and let him slow down and show him. Look at his cardio. He's not even breathing heavy yet. Nice strike. That is a thudding leg kick. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Big head kick land. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Just out of range with that strike. Checks that leg kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. How about that shin? Oh, big head kick land. Big punch land. Ooh. Lee gets tattooed by that straight punch. Two minutes now to go in this one. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Good body shot. And they separate. Wow. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well-placed kick there by Lee. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. 
All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's Huge connection by a He needs to get on his biceps, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Than a minute to go to decide this one. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Look at the rip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. now stuffs that takedown attempt without issue 20 seconds left oh and there is the kick that one checked by Lee all right single collar tie now Whoa! Type of aggressiveness and execution that is going to endear you to UFC President Dana White to the matchmakers. Make sure you keep it out of the judges' hands, and that's exactly what he did here tonight. A huge shot landed clean. Clearly, his opponent was hurt very badly, and ultimately, the finish came right then and there. Outstanding execution down the stretch tonight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number five. And playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? This is going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.